What's going on YouTube? I'm Slick, that's Slick Jackson, and if you're looking for the coolest, grooviest content on the side, you come to the right place. Twitter is in a pretty weird spot for me. On one hand, I hate it. I think it's actively contributing to the collapse of humanity. On the other hand, I really can't recommend any other side if you want to be the first to read about well, whatever's going on these days, I'll be honest, I got no idea myself. Seriously though, if you're a commentator, Twitter's the finest tool in your arsenal. If you're a commentator and you ain't got no Twitter, well, honestly, you ain't doing your job right, I'll say that. But yeah, Twitter is a place. You probably know why people don't like it, I won't be getting into that. And you know, for as bad as Twitter is, it looks like it's about to get a lot worse. Jack Dorsey, CEO, well, he's the former CEO now because he just stepped down, and you know, a lot of us didn't bat an eye over that. I mean, Jack Dorsey, not really well locked, so if anything, we all thought this was a step in the right direction. But his replacement? Well, let's just say, Twitter won't be getting any better anytime soon. So we got this tweet from Disclose. Just in, CTO Pareg Agrawal, not sure if I say that right, will replace Jack Dorsey as Twitter CEO. Former CTO and new Twitter CEO Agrawal in November 2020 interview, our role is not to be bound by the First Amendment, focusing less on thinking about free speech, but thinking about how the times have changed. But focusing less on free speech, but how times have changed, that statement is just so stupid, I think it speaks for itself. Like, I'm trying to formulate some sort of witty response here, but I honestly can't, so I'm just gonna leave it at what everyone's probably thinking. What exactly changed the point where we need to put one of the most important amendments on the back burner? I mean, come on. Nah. In fairness, this is a quote from an interview from apparently a year ago, but it still leaves a pretty bad first impression. A bad taste in the mouth, you dig? Gets even worse. A day after this guy was made CEO, Twitter made an announcement that, well, it ain't good. Now, I will say, the new CEO probably has nothing to do with this. This was probably in the works for a while, but it's pretty bad all the same. Sharing images is an important part of folks. I hate that word folks. It's like, I don't know what it is. Like the word folks has just been ruined for me in the past few years. Don't know what it is. People should have a choice in determining whether or not a photo is shared publicly. To that end, we are expanding the scope of our private information policy. I mean, I guess. I like if it's a private photo, sure. But if you voluntarily and willingly share a photo of yours on the internet, well, it really ain't your choice no more. You got no saying how it's gonna be spread. The moment you upload a photo to the internet. Well, it ain't your photo no more, it's the internet's. Beginning today, we will not allow the sharing of private media, such as images or videos of private individuals without their consent. Publishing people's private info is also prohibited under the policy, as is threatening or incentivizing others to do so. Well, the second part ain't nothing new. Doxing hasn't ever been allowed on Twitter, near as I know, but that first part, like, no, just no. That's like half of all content on Twitter, isn't it? Like, most pictures of Twitter are other people not posted with consent. Look, all I'll say is, you put your face on the internet, and most people do, that's gonna get spread around. Real dumb to get angry at people sharing pictures that you yourself uploaded to the web. Let's unpack what this means. Yeah, please. This policy update will help curb the misuse of media to harass, intimidate, and reveal the identities of private individuals. Oh, give me a break. They use a lot of language here, right? Harass, intimidate, whatever. The worst that'll really happen is people might laugh at you. Nine to nine times out of ten, it's just people joking around. If you get upset at that, you really shouldn't be posting your face on the internet. It really is that simple, folks. Which disproportionately impacts women, activists, dissidents, and members of minority communities. Oh, give me a break. At least you're being honest with your intentions, though. It's clear that your objective is to protect communities, shield them from scrutiny and criticism. Maybe it's just a cover to make this change seem better than how it really is. They go on, but I'm just about done with the thread. They link to an interesting article on the Twitter Help Center. Something I noticed reading is how vague it is. And I think that's by design. We also factor in the intent of the person sharing the information. For example, if we believe that someone is sharing information with an abusive intent, or to harass or encourage others to harass another person, we will take action. Well, see, that's pretty much an open-ended thing, isn't it? Twitter can just look something over and say, well, clearly the intent is to harass someone. Doesn't matter if that's, you know, actually the case. You're out of here, pal. When we are notified by individuals depicted or their authorized representative that they did not consent to having media shared, we will remove the media. This policy is not applicable to public figures. Nah, first of all, I find the whole bit regarding authorized representatives pretty interesting. Not to get all conspiracy theorists up in here, but could Twitter realistically consider itself an authorized representative to its users? You'd think that would be something that they'd clearly specify, you know? Also, not applicable to all public figures. Well, who determines who and who isn't a public figure? Can this not be manipulated in some way? 
what are some clear and definitive guidelines for being a public figure in Twitter's eyes. Again, it's vague and open-ended, likely by design so Twitter can twist and bend the rules as it pleases so they can justify allowing and taking off content as they see fit. The media and the accompanying tweet text add value to the public discourse or are shared in the public interest. Again, pretty vague, like seriously, who determines whether or not value is added to the discourse? It's subjective. So yeah, those are some bits of the article that I personally found interesting. Again, it's left incredibly vague, much like YouTube's own terms of service, seemingly so they could give themselves the power to strike down any tweet as they please under the guise of, well, we're just enforcing our rules to create a safe environment for everyone fooey to that. I really hope Twitter doesn't continue going down this rabbit hole where they give themselves the ability to censor whatever they want, because frankly, it's probably the only mainstream social media app that allows for the most free speech to just go on in it. And yeah, you know, I feel like there really ain't a spot on the mainstream web where people can just talk, you know? It's all heavily controlled and enforced by the bigwigs, and now they're going after just the really little things, you know? Starts with YouTube turning off dislikes, Twitter's gonna let butthurt soy boys report media because they saw themselves in it, and, well, who knows what's next. So, this is an old piece of news, but I still want to cover it, so I guess I'll mix it in with this video. Jaden, someone who we've talked about her on the channel before, will likely do it again because she's just that kind of person. In any case, it seems like she threatened a small YouTuber. It all starts from a Twitter thread where some people were discussing something that happened with a YouTuber called Scrimsox. Not really gonna go into it because I don't really know much about it myself. But at some point, a YouTuber called Grimsy is Here was brought up. The explanation video was completely debunked by Grimsy is Here. Jalen comes in, that asshole is not trustworthy. He's transphobic and constantly makes videos on me and Scrimzox. What I do know is whatever Scrimzox did wasn't enough to be arrested. And that Scrimzox addressed this years ago when it happened that people moved on. Scrim's making a new video soon. Funny thing is, this Grimsy person doesn't seem to have that many videos on Jaden or Scrimzox. Yeah, they are kind of prominent, but it doesn't look like he's straight up milking them for views. And besides, every like fifth video on Jaden's channel is about Dream or some other trendy YouTuber. Kinda hypocritical critical to call someone out for making a bunch of videos on you when you literally do the same exact thing. Not saying that there's anything wrong with it, but you're living in a glass house here. I don't like you because you're a bad person. Jesus, you're proving it literally right now. Absolutely laying it down on Jaden. Holy darn. I could report you for some of the stuff you said. I don't know how a channel like yours is allowed anymore. So, pretty bad tweet. Not necessarily a threat, but kind of leaning into it, you know? Implying. Original poster comes in. What did he say? This asshole puts my pre-transition pictures in all his thumbnails and videos. He, for some reason, puts me in all of his intros, brings me up in random videos, and insults me. Here's the thing. Jaden, on her own accord, has put her pictures up on the internet. You really can't complain about how people use your photos that you yourself uploaded in thumbnails and the like. And okay, he says mean thanks about you. I'm guessing, you no, know, maybe he's a bit of a transphobe, as they call it. First off, who cares? Literal words from how many subscribers does this guy have? Less than 2,000? Literal nobody. And that ain't me trying to be mean. I'm a nobody too. But you have 230k subs and you're letting this literal who get the best of you? And like, really, what's he doing? He's saying mean things over the internet. Cry me a river. I've had it with these YouTubers who just can't take some hate. You wanted to be a YouTuber, and now you're at the point where you can either have your cake or eat it. You can't be a YouTuber, or any sort of celebrity really, without getting some sort of hate. That's just gonna happen. You just gotta keep on trucking on. And here's the thing, Jaden. You are a commentator. You dog on other people. Eventually, people are gonna dog on you. That's what being a commentator entails. You can't throw punches and not expect to get hit. Proving you're not a great person. Okay, keep defending someone that's obviously wrong when you have done absolutely no research but made your decision because you don't like me. You're an idiot. I don't need to do research as the person you're accusing came to me directly to explain everything. Again, I don't really understand this whole Scrimsock situation, but that's not how this works. Like, just because someone explains something to you in private, it means nothing. Like, people can lie, you know? And in situations like these, they often do. And again, I'm not saying that Scrimsox is, because again, I don't know much about this Scrimsox situation, but that's just how these kind of things work. You know what I'm saying? Then Grimsy says, I think we're done here, dickhead. Now, Jaden did make a reply to this tweet that was since deleted, but has since been archived. I think we're done here, dickhead. Yeah, we are. 
keep making videos on me, watch what happens. All right, let's call that what it is, a threat. Jaden can try to pass it off as a joke or a hollow threat or whatever, but I mean, I think you can decide for yourself. So, hats off to you, Jaden. You, a 200k sub YouTuber, are trying to strong arm someone several times smaller than you. What do I even say? It's just not a good look. If you break TOS, YouTube decides what to do. That's why the flagging system exists in the first place, to report TOS violations. Okay, I'll say, if you reported this guy according to YouTube rules, you'd probably be in the right. But in the court of public opinion, you'd make yourself look real bad. There's a reason why YouTubers don't go around flagging everyone who makes a negative video on them. It's just not good for PR. And again, I stress, you are a commentator. You clown on other people, why can't people do the same to you? You ain't untouchable, you're the same as the rest of us. Free to criticize, free to be criticized. Fine, I'll take the L. I shouldn't have threatened to report Grimsy's videos. I'm just really insecure, and I hate that he keeps putting photos of me in his videos. Oh, it's okay, guys, she's just insecure. No, no, that's not an excuse. It don't justify nothing. You're trying to spin it. Stop trying to spin it. Now, that's something I notice she does a lot. When she apologizes, she sprinkles in an excuse here and an excuse there. Like, man, just apologize like an adult. And you hate that he keeps putting photos of you in his... Again, this guy isn't nobody. What's it matter to you? I don't flag people. Kind of irrelevant when you threaten to do just that. There's literal doxes of me up on YouTube right now, and I don't flag it. Okay, well, no one's saying that you shouldn't flag those videos. Literally, everyone would be on your side if you struck them down, if your dox was really on them. Like, huh? But the guy got on my nerves and constantly brings me up in videos for no reason. Again, I must sound like a broken record by now. You are letting a literal nobody under your skin. If it's this easy to set you off, I'm gonna be dead straight with you. You have no business being a YouTuber. As YouTubers, as commentators especially, we gotta have thick skin. If we dish it out, we gotta take it. It's disgusting to see people with large platforms spreading this around. Large? You consider 2K to be large? So that's the situation. I honestly can't get over that we have people in the commentary community who get upset when they find out that people can hit back. Like, yeah, not everyone's gonna be sucking up to you, believe it or not. Honestly, I don't know at this point. In any case, Jaden's gotta figure something out real quick here, because this is becoming a monthly sort of thing. Jaden gets herself into drama, then breaks down when people begin to call her out. Funny thing is, every time stuff like this happens, she's gotten off scot-free. Like, she's gotten lean you see that most of us here in the community wouldn't have gotten. Yes, people respect her or something, but if this behavior keeps up, she might find herself with a few bridges burned or a community that's generally hostile towards her. I think a lot of people are losing their patience already, so who knows how many more Jaden drama cycles we'll go through before it all comes crashing down for her. That's all I've got for this shtick. Nah, do old Jackie a favor and keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.